Hi, Paul here from Further Genius. Now in our previous video, part one, we took a look at some of the buttons found on a typical Nikon DSLR camera, like this Nikon D3400. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of those features again, and I'm gonna show you how you can use them to get better results and be more creative with your photography. Now in this video, I've got some great tips for you if you're a Nikon DSLR owner, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out. Now the first thing we're gonna look at is the camera's mode dial, which is on the top of the camera here. By default, when it comes out of the factory, this camera is set to auto, which is fine. Full auto means that you don't have any input in what the camera is doing. The camera makes all the key decisions for you. And as well as these, there are several what they call scene modes. Now, as well as these auto modes, we have some manual options. M, full manual control, A, aperture priority, S shutter priority and P is for program mode. And these allow you to be more creative with your camera and allow you to take better photos because you are in control of the camera. And we're gonna start by looking at the program mode first. On this Nikon D3400, when the camera is in the P mode, you rotate the command dial on the back of the camera to adjust the aperture. The shutter speed is adjusted automatically by the camera. Shutter speed is to the left, this is the aperture, and this is the ISO. We can further adjust our exposure by holding down the exposure compensation button on the back of the camera. Turn in the control dial, and you'll see a number appearing on the screen. A plus indicates our picture will become brighter, a minus, darker. This is called exposure compensation. Now, if you like taking photos of things that move, I'm thinking animals, sports, your kids having fun in the local park, then consider playing with and experimenting with the shutter priority mode. On the Nikon, shutter priority is S on the mode dial. In the shutter priority mode, we can control the shutter speed by adjusting the command dial. Dial to the right for a faster shutter speed. Dial to the left for a slower shutter speed. In this mode, the camera is looking after the aperture for us. If you notice the aperture number beginning to flash, then it means that the shutter speed is too fast. So slow the shutter down to fix. Alternatively, you can increase the ISO by pressing the function button on the side of the camera and dialing to the right. Now, of course, experimenting with the different camera modes and practicing, which is very important, is the key to learning how to use your camera and get better results. But to help you along with this, I've created a tip sheet, which you'll find on our website. It's free, you can download it, print it out, pop it in your camera bag. For more details on this, check out the links below the video. We're now going to take a look at some of the menu options. To get into the menu, press the menu button on the left, and use the multi selector to select different menus and different options. Now here's a great tip that is easily missed. If you're going through the menu and you choose an option that has a question mark symbol appearing next to it, press the button with the question mark symbol here on the back of the camera and the camera's inbuilt help menu will explain this function to you. Very useful. Now here's something worth checking on your Nikon. If you see your ISO number has an ISO A written above it, then there's a good chance that the camera's auto ISO sensitivity settings are turned on. And this means that the camera will choose an ISO for you. To give you control, you wanna turn this off. Go to menu, ISO sensitivity settings, navigate to the right, Auto ISO sensitivity control here is on. Click on the right, select off, press the OK button to set. If I press the menu now and go out, you will now see the ISO A has disappeared. Now I can manually control the ISO myself. 
Now, if you don't know much about ISO, don't worry. I've created a separate video all about ISO. I'll put a link somewhere up here, and also there's a link below the video. Check it out after you finish watching. Now, next we're going to look at a feature called Picture Control. Press the Menu button, select Picture Control. It's in the Shooting menu, press OK. And here we have a variety of different options. Now, these are going to affect the color and the tones of the photo. Standard is the default. Now, I recommend playing and experimenting with these. Particularly popular are Vivid, which will make colors pop. Portrait is great for skin tones. Landscape is great for landscapes because it tends to boost the blues and greens. And if you like black and white, try playing with monochrome. Again, experimenting with these is the best way to learn and have fun with your camera. Now, if ever you're annoyed by how quickly your camera screen goes to sleep, then it's worth knowing that you can change the settings. Go into the menu, go to setup menu, go down to auto off timers and press OK. Now there are some default settings, short, normal, long. I prefer the custom options over to the right, standby timer. At the moment it is set to a default of eight seconds. I like 20 seconds. Press OK to select, shutter button to get out the menu and we're done. Now for some final tips and let's start with flash. If you're using your camera in the manual mode, you'll notice that the little pop-up flash no longer pops up, but that doesn't mean you can't use it. There's a little flash button on the side of the camera here. Press it, up pops the flash. Now, I'm not a big fan of the pop-up flash, if I'm honest, but it can be useful sometimes if maybe your subject is backlit or you just want to fill in some shadows. Now let's talk about the beep. When you press the shutter button halfway down and focus on your subject, you'll notice that your Nikon camera beeps, like so. The beep is useful. It's the camera's way of letting you know that it has focused on something. But the beep can sometimes be distracting to other people. Or maybe you like taking pictures of wildlife and you don't want a beeping camera. So you can turn the beep off. It's very simple. It's done in the menu. And with no beep, how do you now know the camera's focused? Well, again, I have a simple solution. When you're looking through the viewfinder and you focus on your subject, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner of the viewfinder, a little green dot. The dot is the same as the beep. It's your camera's way of indicating to you that the camera has successfully focused on a subject. Now, don't forget to head over to the Photo Genius website where you can download and print out your free tip sheet. For details, just look out for the link. You'll find it below the video. Just click on the words show more down below. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and you've learned some great things, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. There should be a link somewhere over here. And I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya.